Joined by head coach Mike Roberts following the 3-2 win over the Falmouth Commodores. Coach, two times in the course of the week you come here, huge 1-1 one, one, one run wins. What has made this game and in this matchup so competitive the last week? Uh, you know, I think uh, pitching. Pitching's been really good for both teams. And, uh, you know, we were just fortunate we got out <laughs> and uh, to get you know, out 3 nothing, and then we gave up two home runs. And somehow the guys held on. I, as I told them afterwards, uh, two things. That's a team win. That's an overall team win. And the second thing is if you don't enjoy that game, you don't like baseball. Now, not to be forgotten in this win as well was Quinn Matthews getting his first start as a Kettleer as well. Settled down from those walks, looks really good over his three and a third. What did you see from your new left hand? <laughs> well, I really like him. He's loose. He's really loose. And But he, he was interesting. He apologized as he came in saying, Coach, I'm sorry my pitch count's so high. But, I mean, look what he did in the first inning. Got himself out of it and uh, went on, and, uh, and he did a great job. We're really glad to have him. That ninth inning, so much going on. Just I, I don't know where to start. So just take me through what you saw in, in the roller coaster that was that inning. Well, I thought Zach started uh, really tentative in the ninth inning. He was aggressive as all get out in the eighth inning, and then he got a little tentative in the ninth inning. Uh, but he battled and he stayed in there. And the play that he made uh, with men on second and third, barehanded. If he doesn't stop that ball barehanded, we probably lose the ball game. Yeah, nobody's making that play. And uh, so that was fantastic. Certainly didn't want him to get bruised up or hurt. Um, and then, um, you know, going to Jake Peavy house, uh, I felt like he had the right breaking ball that we needed against left-handed hitters in that situation. And boy, did um, <laughs> for a guy that's only thrown 80 innings in, in his career, uh, at uh, Coastal, uh, he was he was really good <laughs> in those two hitters. So uh, 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 it was just an exciting time. You know, obviously either team could have went one in the uh, in the ninth inning, but we're thankful to come out with a win. So you start this road trip right, get the first win. Now you go into a little bit of a weird schedule day. Wareham, then out east to Harwich, then back to Wareham. How do you keep these guys ready with so much travel over the next few days? Well, I hope they just, you know, they're very competitive, and I think they love to play, and we got a lot of people in and out. RJ won't be with us the next two days. He's going to be watching the draft. We also have a lot of other people watching the draft. So, you know, we just uh, throw other people in the lineup and, um, and keep fighting. And I think this is a team that uh, – uh, is talented, but I think they also have some fight in them, as you saw t the, tonight and several games this week. And so we'll just go play and, and enjoy it and hope they can tolerate Coach Roberts and some of his moves again, and we'll see if we can get a victory tomorrow night and wear them. Coach, thanks for the time. Congrats on the win. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you.